For nearly two centuries, it's been dormant. Its last eruption was in 1821. But on March the 20th, Eyjafjaka Jökull, one of Iceland's largest volcanoes, woke from its sleep. Scientists first saw signs of renewed life as far back as 1994, as magma built up beneath the volcano. Last year, there was a minor eruption, and in March, lava started to flow. But it was on April the 14th that the explosive phase began. Volcanologists, such as Freystein Sigmundsson, have been monitoring the volcano for years, measuring seismic tremors as well as tiny expansions of the Earth's crust. There have been some surprises. We, we were anticipating an eruption. So the eruption that we have been seeing is stronger maybe than we anticipated, and the plume uh, material is making it higher up into the atmosphere, having, of course, this amazingly catastrophic effect that we are all observing. Previous eruptions occurred in 960, 1612 and 1821. While they may be rare, they can last for a long time. If you look at the last eruption, what lasts more than a, a year, but the style of the eruption varied. It was explosive during some periods and quiet during other periods. Iceland sits directly on the Mid-Atlantic Rift, a fault line in the Earth's crust. Dozens of volcanoes lie along it in varying states of activity. What's concerning many is the link between Eyjafjaka Jökull and its larger neighbour Katla. Each time the smaller volcano has erupted, its big cousin has also been set off. While there are no signs yet of any activity at Katla, Iceland's president has warned that the international community should be considering when, not if, the next disruptive eruption will take place. Buried deep within the earth, all kinds of minerals lie waiting to surface. And during an earthquake or a volcanic eruption, that's exactly what happens. Over a week after the Eyjai Sjetla Jökull volcano took Iceland and the rest of Europe by surprise, plumes of grey and white smoke continue to billow out. Even though the volcano emits 300,000 tons of carbon dioxide a day, experts say not to worry. It's not enough to speed up global warming. But the environment is at the mercy of the volcano. Located next to a glacier, melting ice caused severe flooding. Close to 800 residents were evacuated. Some farmers stayed back, hoping to save their animals covered in ash. Everywhere, it's several centimeters thick. Yes. 